Hello guys, it's me. I am um, downloaded some uh, editing software for my tablet. So I'm just making sure that it's going to work or not. So this video may air on YouTube. It may not. We're just doing two little reviews here. Uh, the first one's going to be with the seat. Then we're going to have the um, Logitech G27 racing wheel. So, um, first thing we're going to go off with is the racing seat. I already, you already know this. I'm just making sure that the setting, editing software is going to work fine before I make a really, try to make a really good video and, and it turns out that it's really crap. So, um, these are Summit Racing seats for the Mustang, which you already know. I'm not going to get into too much detail because you can just go watch the other video. We have um, brackets for these seats. I don't know. We're going to get somebody to uh, custom fit this for the Mustang one day. And then this is more brackets. So yeah. I'm going to make sure that this video ends at two minutes. So um... Yeah, those are the seats that from Summit Racing. Real fast, um, I have three GoPro things. I have a brand new one right here that just doesn't have the latch. These are all my backup GoPros. Great cases. They're not my. These are uh, cases for the GoPro. This is the one that I always use. These are backup. And here is the just GoPro. I don't think it has any battery, so it may not turn on. Nah, it's not going to turn on. But, um, yeah, two minutes is up. Let's see if the editing is going All to right, work. Alright, so if it worked, this video will be here. And, um, the Logitech wheel, it's a little messy because I don't really use it much anymore. Um, it's just a Logitech G27 Racing Simulator wheel for the Xbox, or for the, um, PlayStation and PC, but they make it where you can, um, play on Xbox 360, which... I found the way. Um, let me try to find the box for it. Um, right here. Give me a minute. This here is the um, thing that helps it all. What you do is you put this in the Xbox, then you put a wired controller with the breaker or the little cord that sort of breaks off. You put it in there until the Xbox starts flashing like you have a controller on. Then you unplug it, the controller, and then you get the light or the Logitech wheel, put it in here, and it'll start up. And then there you go. You have a full racing simulator wheel. Um, it's really cool to have it. I mean, and this is how I'm learning how to drive clutch on Forza Horizon and all that. Um, I know it's not like you know legit stuff, but it's helped me a lot. Because I got this around when we had the Honda. I had this before the Honda. And, um, I sort of know how to drive clutch. It's just, you know, sort of iffy for the takeoff. But, um, I started using this for a little while. It has all three pedals. It has the six-speed gearbox over there. And then it has the three pedals here. Gas, brake, clutch. Um, I did have a T-handle for it at first. But I took it off. But, um, yeah, I'm just letting this go on to two minutes. Um, yeah, and there it is. Um, but yeah, this is how I learned how to drive manual. So, yeah. Let's go see if this editing is going to work for me. And if it does, this video will be on there. So, um, yeah, see y'all then. If it even airs.